Nut and Stardew Valley aren't two things I would normally associate with each other, but according to the Wikipedia page, and the pirates I've been talking to in the jungle, I think we've got about 90 or so more to go. So today, we're gonna try and collect as many golden walnuts from Ginger Island as we can, in case that wasn't already abundantly obvious. So what you wanna do is make sure you have all your tools on you. You can get at least five from fishing from what I read, but getting them from fishing is purely luck based. I've collected all the obvious ones from the areas I've visited visited so far is this banana shrine, which we need a banana for, but I don't know how to get a banana just yet. So we can start off on this easy one. Yeah, we get one just from hitting this tree with an ax. And I would really like to at least get 20 as soon as possible so we can get the house here built. And then we don't have to go back to Stardew Valley. We can just start the day here. We can also find five just from harvesting crops but unfortunately we haven't even planted any crops and I just realized I've actually forgotten to bring my scythe. Don't forget to do that. We harvest ginger like this we might get one. Potentially cutting down trees. And I need the wood anyway. This more ginger is supposedly a sneaky one somewhere along these cliffs. There we go. Okay. Definitely wouldn't have found that unless I had checked. These muscle nodes can occasionally drop some. Hopefully we get from one of these. There we go. Doing pretty okay so far. Ah, there's a second one. That strategy is working. Ah, here's the pirate ship. We're supposed to find this as well. Ah, and this contains a golden walnut. We need to find a memento of the widow of the beach's husband, who was the pirate captain of that ship and also some kind of war hero. We could get one from this guy if we can hit him using the hoe as a count. We'd need to bring a bunch of stuff to block the hole. Got a snake skull. Fishing isn't going too well. Apparently there is more buried treasure. Went around here. There we go. And then there's diamond shaped arrangement of starfish somewhere. Just need to keep an eye out for. Ah, yeah, partially covered by that big rock. Got a journal scrap from. Read that, because that can tell us where some are too. Rain, drenched day, and upon a rock maiden saw I. Tales I'd heard of seaborn maiden singing siren songs, yet ne'er to muster. The next morning I spied an arrangement of stone upon the foamy bank. I stones as big as pennies, and stones as big as nickels were they. I see dog attuned for the howl. So there's a mermaid somewhere. Okay, this one seems pretty obvious, but there's an X here that I didn't actually see because it was covered by a piece of coral. And it seems like I might have already got that one, actually. But we did find one. These holes. There's like four little divots in the sand. And if we dig in just the right spot here. Yeah, there we go. Get a quality bobber and a gold. Okay. That's a good star, because now we can pay the parrot. And no, I'm not having a stroke. I need to give this parrot 20 golden walnuts to repair the sleep hut. And then they just kind of descend on it. And I mean, if they're descending on me like that, I would be very worried. But in this case, it's helpful. Do it a little bit of decorating. Yeah, now we have our own place on Ginger Island. It's pretty good. Just do a little bit of clearing out here. Since getting a lot of the golden walnuts involve farming here too, just want as much space as we can get. The pressure is off a good bit now that we have that sleep hut. I think it took me maybe four or five days of going around the island just to get enough. Mainly because I didn't really know how to get the golden walnuts in the first place. But this game doesn't really tell you anything about anything. You just kind of have to figure it out yourself or use whatever resources are available to you. I've got to bring my pan as well. This island is really good for panning. I think we're eventually going to have to find Parrot Boy's family or next of kin or try to help him in some kind of way. But for the time being, I'm just happy to kick back on the beach and go hunting for golden walnuts. This farm could actually have more space than my farm back in Stardew Valley because I picked the worst kind of farm to start off with. I definitely would not recommend picking the river farm. It's great for growing rice, but literally not much else. I've just now realized that even though I'm not being forced to go back to Stardew Valley, I'll still need to go back at some point to pick up seeds and other resources for the farm. These tiger slimes can drop quite a few, assuming they don't kill you first. There would be one hidden right in the middle of this path. Yes, there is. Back to one again. Oh yeah, this is literally, you can't see it, but there is one 
There should be one in that tree. There's a very sneaky cave hidden here. Got these noise making crystals. And I get the impression you just have to follow the pattern that's being made. Got a ding, ding, ding. Okay, mess that up. Ding, ding, ding. One, ding, 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 ding. Two, ding, 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 ding. Ding. That's three. Oh god. Oh, oh, I'm messing this up very badly. Hang on. I'll get back to you when I figure this out. Oh, this is incredibly frustrating. Okay, we got it. We got it. And you get three golden walnuts. Might take quite a few attempts, but it does slow down a bit the more you get it wrong as well. We spent so long doing that, the day is almost over. There's one we can't quite get to. Right behind the house. I don't know how I didn't see that before. Gonna move this bed a little bit closer to the door. We should just be able to go around the trees. Oh yeah, that's an easy one to get. Anytime there seems to be a symmetrical shape, like these four pebbles or flowers or whatever they are, there's always a golden walnut, it seems. This is one I managed to actually find on my own. The secret path that will lead to a golden walnut through this forest. Even though now I don't seem to be able to do it. Now I don't seem to be able to actually get out of here either. We're still getting notifications for events happening in Stardew Valley. Oh, this is new. I am, I am liking this guy. He wants us to grow a melon. Okay, here we have another textbook example of a golden walnut being in the middle of something and we just scared that monkey away. <laughs> this looks like one and it is one. <laughs> Didn't even need the wiki for that. That's a lot of ginger. But it is ginger island for a reason. Gonna do some quick digging here. Also need to find fossils for the professor still. Potentially some of these rocks have golden walnuts in them too, but they're not being very good to us. Oh, oh, golden coconut. Okay, hang on. Can bring those to the blacksmith and there should be golden walnuts in those. So definitely keep an eye out for the artifact spot. The spot where we could be panning for gold. Okay, there's a hidden passage that is very hidden here, leading down to a golden walnut. And something that does look like another hidden one there, but maybe not. Here we have a patch that I missed earlier Earlier, there's four flowers arranged in a circle. I've never seen him anywhere but his hut. He thinks he's a bird. We're just letting him get on with that. I just realized that this is the same cave as the one next to the mines in Stardew Valley. The one that you unblock is another circle of stone, <laughs> providing our 11th walnut of the day. Normally there would be one on this tree, but we already got it. It really seems like they're just trolling us at this point because there's a secret passage here. There's no way you could possibly know about that. The path does kind of lead into the cliff. But they don't make it very obvious at all, which gets us two. If we could finish these animals, we would get some golden walnuts. We got some for donating. We need other parts for these. Need snake bits, jungle cat bits. These surveys get us golden walnuts. And I know that there's 22 purple flowers in this island because I 100% totally went around and checked. And then wouldn't you know, off the top of my head, I would say there's 18 purple starfish on the island. That's everything in terms of surveys we can get, I think. Is a sneaky one on this tree normally. This is one, yes it is. Doesn't look as circly as the stone circles normally are. This one is particularly tricky because it is a golden walnut there and you need to shoot it down with your slingshot. Should be one, should have been one there. Maybe I'm just not digging in the right place. We might've gotten that one already. It is definitely a distinct pattern. The stone circles find our way through these trees, down around, be able to get this one. And then in this dungeon, there is a bunch. If you go to the left here and make a lava bridge, then you can find some. And we can find some by fighting creatures, by breaking rocks, by destroying the like dwarven artifacts that are left behind, and opening different chests too. Plus, if you've already made it through, there would be golden walnut plants up here. But those are ones we've collected already. Let's get getting late. Might not even be able to make it back to our hut. Probably a good thing we moved our bed a little closer to the door. We have yet another hidden path. As soon as you go up the stairs to Island North, it'll take you back down to this golden walnut tree. This is the next thing we can spend our golden walnuts on is a beach resort. So once this is built, then people should come from the town. Oh, the parrots are descending again. That is pretty nice though, actually. Could be a little while until people start showing up though. The ginger is growing back very quickly. Gonna 
need to build a chest for all my junk. Oh no, I built a scarecrow by accident. I hate it when you build a scarecrow by accident. <laughs> Nothing works. There's another one, just for breaking a few rocks. Works every time. Gonna put this chest there. Okay, now that the beach resort is built, we can access the islands southeast over here. And we can fish in this very conspicuous star-shaped pond for a nice fat golden walnut. So we just have to keep an eye out for basically any four star-shaped patterns like these starfish here. So yeah, on a rainy day, this is where the mermaid would appear. We don't have the right weather at the moment. Yeah, going further on, it was not immediately apparent to me, you can go through here to the Pirate's Cove. And this seems to be a pretty unique area. It is the only place we can catch stingrays, which seem like they're gonna be a tricky catch. Don't really need a stingray for anything. Not that I know of at the moment, but I would like to be able to catch one. They're mocking me now. Well, I didn't want a stingray anyway. <laughs> Possibly the most convoluted way to get golden walnuts is to go to the Pirate's Cove on a non-rainy day after 8 p.m., but only on an even-numbered day, and then win a round of darts against the pirates that are in there. Okay, looks like it's time. Uh, yep, this place is busted full of pirates now. And we are blending in perfectly because we're wearing a pirate's hat, so nobody will be suspicious. <laughs> Red, mamma mia, calm down, brother. Green, <laughs> you are always mama's favorite. <laughs> Wah! There's uh, an interesting dynamic going on here. Black goal. Yarmady, you must have had a keen eye to spot our secret cove. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, yeah, I did. Thank you. Black Gull. That's a that's a way cooler name. I'm thinking of changing the channel name. <laughs> Grim Pyra. It's midnight when I lost me hands to a savage monster of the deep. He's just pausing for dramatic effect. Very much pausing for dramatic effect now. Okay, just kidding. Oh, Jesus, he put his hand down a, ugh, down a blender. Can no longer make his famous cake. Dark Man. Okay, this is the guy we need to beat. Oh, Jesus. Oh, this might not actually be... As easy as I was hoping. Oh, there we go. Okay, bullseye is 50. Maybe this isn't too bad. I always think going for the center will get you the most points, but that's not actually true. There's another bullseye. Easy. We have a lot of darts to do with this way. Oh, we can actually control 20 by 30, 60. Oh, only five that time. Actually having some difficulty now. On its own, it just kind of floats around the bullseye anyway. But as soon as we start trying to control it, it gets a little bit more difficult. I want to get that 60. There we go. Boss. Oh, I have to get exactly 37 points. I don't know how darts works. Bossed again. Okay, yeah, so we need 25. 19. Is there a 19 on the board? There's a 20, so I assume. Yeah, there is. Okay, I'm just blind. There we go. You win. 16 throws. That's probably not the best. Got one golden walnut. Okay, and we can play him at least three times. Let's try to get that in a few less darts. Yeah, I think we even have less darts this time. Could be a little tricky, actually. There's another ball and another one. Oh, that's way off. Huh? No, not too bad. Ooh, this might actually be a little tricky. I want to get a bullseye at least. Give myself some breathing room. Oh, I messed that up. Oh, no, got it. Okay, three. Three points is very doable with two darts. You would think, but now we only have one dart left. Okay, yeah, I think we got it. We got it. One more golden walnut. 301. Bullseye. We get all bullseyes. There's two. There's three. I feel like one of those darts players that can balance a pint on their belly. Oh, yes, four. Okay. It's just peak athleticism. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, wait, no, that was just bowl. Uh, that's pain. One point. Why is it so difficult just to get one point? There we go. One of nine throws. Talk to the demon in the barrel. Yep, <laughs> bartender. Oi, I've never seen the light of you before, but if you got the pirate luck, then have one on me. Har har. The hat fooled him. We got a mead. Is this just pirate Pierre? A well dressed pirate. Ahem, yar. Not convincing. I'd rather grow palms in the pants. Yeah, this is just a reference to something I don't understand, I think. Plus, if we dig this patch of dirt, we get a golden walnut. Is this boat? do something or go somewhere? No, it's just here. This is how they got here. I think I'll be coming back here again. <laughs> you know, most of the easily accessible ones. You can still get more from fishing, still get more from going to the volcano. We get some from the banana shrine if we had a banana. Still dig these. If we get three more, we can unlock the island trader. 
Yeah, we can check our progress on this door. So we've got 67 out of the 100 he needs, and there's 130 all together. Looks like we gotta go back to Stardew Valley for some supplies. Nobody's showed up to the resort yet. Oh, we can close it down whenever we want. Okay, we need crop. The coconut's opened. I forgot we arrived back in the shop. And I forgot it was winter here as well. I love being able to dig up the entire beach with this iridium hoe. It's actually a very convenient way to make money early on in this game. There's just so many things you can dig up in winter. Plus, we need things to pot diggy guys hole. I may as well drink the pirates gave me. There we go. Uh, okay, so it's not always a golden knot from a golden coconut. Chances are just pretty good. I think I'd much rather be hanging out on Ginger Island, the farm in winter. Oh, we missed the Feast of the Winter Star by quite a few days. Frog, oh, I've got a lot of stuff done here. I'm gone for a while. Frog wanted a melon, but then he wants other stuff later on too. For the frog, we need melons, wheat, garlic. Uh, garlic. Potentially have melons somewhere. Or maybe not. Oh, no. Now I remember I turned all my melons into jelly and wine. So we need to wait for the next season. At least buy the season. Give this to the soldier guy, the one who's always hanging out by the sewer. Statues and stuff too. Let's take the stone frog, the skeleton, and the bear statue, golden mayor. He's not here at the moment. Normally he's here. There he is. Okay. He recognizes the guy in the photo because they were in the military together. Brother to me. Dragged me out of the shit several times. <laughs> I thought he just meant to be a pirate. That means that he was a pirate at some point. Because he died being a pirate. Thanks for this photo here. Take this tub of gourmet tomato salt, which we now need to give to Gus, who as always can be found here. Now we need to go around the counter. Everybody is having these very intense, vivid reactions to the random items we're giving them. He loves the zesty taste and gritty texture. What is he trading us now? Okay, Stardew Valley Rose, which we now need to go give to Sandy all the way out in the desert. This is probably gonna take several days to pass off all these gifts. Okay, and when we give her the rose, I really wish she was a romanceable character. <laughs> Didn't know she was originally from Stardew Valley. I thought she just always lived in the desert. It has gotten us a 10 year old advanced TV remote. We need to give to George, which kind of makes sense since all he ever does is sit inside and watch TV all day. This is definitely the most convoluted quest line in Stardew Valley. And when we give George the TV remote, he has no idea what to do with it. It's like my grandparents with their TV remote. He's figuring it out. So he's giving us a magic stone from his coal miner days. Which even if I wasn't looking at the Wikipedia page, I would kind of guess we need to give to the wizard. Marnie's off to be plowed by the mayor instead of selling us things we need for the farm like usual. Okay, here is magic rock. Most powerful substance potently infused with the element of ice, giving us a wriggling worm. Had to think about who we would give this to for a second there, but we need to give it to Willy. To him, on our way back to the island. Could cut up my giant melon to get melons for the frog, but I don't really want to. Just gonna continue digging up some of the beach while we wait for Willy's to open. You can dig around the horse. Okay, we give Willy the worm. He always looks like he was never expecting us to talk to him. Trade us pirate's locker. Seems to be what we need to bring back to Birdie. Okay, before we bring the pirate's locket back to Birdie, I'm just gonna brain this little worm guy real quick. You just need to block up his holes. <laughs> Huh, where you gonna go, huh? Huh, gotta use the axe, pickaxe. Oh my, I'm gonna use my mallet. Oh, it oh Jesus, I killed him. I feel surprisingly awful about that. I didn't know it was gonna kill him, I swear. Okay, and we can finally give this to her after giving about half a dozen random items to other random people. <laughs> throws it at her. Still smells like him. And I'm just guessing here, but it seems like he died with this on him, so that's a good way to impart your smell on an object. That familiar putrid funk. Oh, Jesus, yeah. Our character reacted very badly to that. Gone, you should live your life. It's an honorable do. Uh, she spent most of her life doing this already, so I don't think jumping in right at the end and telling her she's done the wrong thing is the play here. Why does she not have a name now? She can teach us a recipe. Fairy dust. 
gosh. Nice, and we got some golden walnuts. Five. I already like her more than a villager in Stardew Valley. I'm not saying I want her to be a romanceable character, I just like that she's our neighbor here. And that is the least complicated way to get golden walnuts in Stardew Valley. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful at all, feel free to like and subscribe as this mysterious message on the beach is telling you to. Thank you very much for watching and have a good bye bye.